Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and for today's video, I wanted to share with you a pregnancy DIY gift basket idea. My girlfriend currently told me that she was pregnant so I wanted to get her something to help celebrate her and the baby. Um, I am currently pregnant with baby number four, but even if you're pregnant with your first baby, your second baby, your fourth baby, I really think that you would still like this gift basket. It's all stuff that you want, that you need, and I think being pregnant with number four, I pretty much know what a pregnant girl wants and needs. So I thought I would share this with you guys today so you can make your own gift basket. It's super cute and definitely would love getting something like this. So I'll go through everything. Um, I will try and leave everything linked down below in the description section so you can go ahead and buy it online super easy. Or if not, um, I got a lot of this stuff at Target and TJ Maxx, but I know Amazon will have it as well if you're an Amazon Prime girl like me. So yeah, if you want to see how I made this pregnancy gift basket, then please keep watching. So here's what the gift basket looks like. You can either put it in a gift basket or put it in a bag. I chose a basket so that way not only can you use the basket later for home decor or in a baby's room, but I just think it's a really great way to reuse, whereas a bag they might just throw it away. So I'll pull each item out and talk about it so that way you guys can see what I put in it. So first up, let's talk about the basket. I love getting baskets at TJ Maxx. They have the best baskets ever for a great price. You can use these in your kid's bedroom or around your house. This was $6.99. It's like a medium-sized basket. Really good quality. So that's what I decided to use. Um, if you do know, like, if they're having a boy or a girl, you can kind of get, like, a gender-specific gender basket. But since she doesn't know yet, she's newly pregnant, I just went with something a little bit more neutral. So first up, I got this really cute touch and feel baby animals book. So my littlest one is three years old and she still loves to look at these books. Um, I thought this was something really cute for them. Special little book for them that they can read when baby gets here and you're able, the newborn baby, you're able to like touch and feel the animals. And like I said, even older kids like to read these books as well. You can never go wrong with a children's book. And then this one, I believe it was like $3.99 at TJ Maxx. And then also, since it is the Christmas season, I found this really cute sonogram ornament at TJ Maxx as well, which says, Our Little Present. If it's not around Christmas time, they do make a lot of picture frames that say, um, Bless, and Our Little Gift to Be, and just other cute little sayings that you can have them put their um, first sonogram ultrasound picture in. So I thought that was really sweet. Next up would be Tums. I don't know about you guys, but being pregnant, I live on Tums. I lived on Tums in the beginning, and now being 29 weeks pregnant, I'm still living on Tums. This is just the generic Tums brand from Target, so you can get these for a couple dollars. I would highly recommend these. It's a great gift to have. I've gone through a couple bottles of those as well. And another great gift would be Stretch Mark Lotion. So this is the one by Palmer's. This is the one that I currently am using. They also have a really good one by Burt's Bees. So now in the beginning, you're not really gonna need a stretch mark cream, but this is something that you'll wanna start using in your second trimester, and it's just nice for them to have. It's just a nice little gift. If they wanna start putting it on now, I mean, it smells good, it smells like coconut, why not? And then now another thing that I am currently, currently living in because it's a little bit chilly is slippers. So you can do Cozy Little Slippers, I got these ones at Target for $6.99. They are by the brand Gilligan O'Malley. These ones are so comfy. I actually should have bought some of these for myself. Um, but you can also do like cute little slipper socks. You can do, if it's a really great friend and you wanna get her some Ugg slippers, you can do that. But slippers, slipper socks, you just want them to be like comfy, cozy. They just wanna be comfortable. So this is a great idea. And then speaking of being like comfy, cozy, all right, let me put this basket down here. I just love, as soon as I get home, I wanna take off my leggings, I wanna take off my maternity jeans, and I just wanna be comfortable. So TJ Maxx always has really cute lounge pants. So I found these really cute lounge pants. They have like little owls on them. Yeah. What? My little one's here in the room with me. Thought I would be able to escape and film a video real quick without her. But these are just comfy little cozy lounge pants and 
Um, you can find these for under $10. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, and just look in the pajama, pajama section just for some comfy lounge pants. And that is always a great gift. Ah. Hi! Mama. Oh, hi, this is Kendall. This is my little baby for right now. And then next up would be a book. So this is the What to Expect When You're Expecting book. I got this one at Barnes & Noble. It was $15.95. But like I said, Target and Amazon all carry these books as well. This is my fourth pregnancy. Like I said, I read this book every single pregnancy. I love to read the chapters. I like to read week by week. So now that I'm 29 weeks, I just read that one for this week. And then next week, I'll read the 30 weeks. So even though I pretty much already know what's going to happen what to expect. I still really like to read this book Nom and that. refresh my memory. And then sometimes there is in here Nom like, hi, you know, things do change. They say, oh, maybe you should start taking more vitamin D supplements Nom now. Or, hi. So this is the fifth edition. So this is the newest edition. <coughs> so you never know. Things could change. Um, sometimes I'll be like, oh, what is that horrible pain right above my ribs? Like, I forget what that is. So you're able to look that up in here and see like, oh, what could that be? And then it's like, oh, well, it's probably your liver being inflamed and your baby kicking it. So it's just nice to, so you're not freaking out and calling a doctor over every single little pain and symptom. It's just nice to have something like this that you can relate to. Yeah. yeah. And then the last thing that I put in there is a pregnancy magazine. So this is the pregnancy and newborn magazine. You can get these for a couple dollars. It's just fun to look at like pregnancy fashion and like this one has what to expect the first six weeks with baby. It talks about breastfeeding. It talks about what's in your hospital bag. So it's just fun. A fun little read for them to um, read now while they're still in their first couple of try first couple weeks of pregnancy. Are you playing with my hair? Mm -hmm. And then they also have like fit pregnancy. So, so if she's more into like fitness and working out, it has really great like options on what you can do for pregnancy workouts. So that's just what I put in her basket. <laughs> but you can also, mom life here. <laughs> but you can also put in like snacks. So you can put in saltines. You can put in crackers. If she's really nauseous, you can put in things that are going to help her with her nausea. You can put in, they have those, um, yeah. nausea lollipops. Yeah. So I'll leave everything linked down below that I can think of. Um, you can put in gum, Tic Tacs, just anything that's going to help ease her pain a little bit. Um, and help Missy and help her not suffer so much. You could also do like a gentle neutral baby outfit. I know when you first find out you're pregnant, like it's so fun to get baby clothes. You could do like a baby blanket, just like a green one or a yellow one. So those are just a couple other little options. So yeah, I hope that you guys like today's pregnancy DIY gift basket idea. If you have any other really good ideas, leave those down in the comments. I would love to hear them. So that way when I have future friends that are having, Missy, stop. <laughs> that way when I have future friends that are having babies, I can, you know, add some more cute stuff in the basket and make it a little bit different. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I would love for you guys to join my community. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.